I'm just going to turn the camera off for a minute while I get all these ants off me. Oopsie. And don't fall down there. Just pay attention when you're up here. from the old Telegraph Station Hill up there. Good views, really nice. This is the Malgu bird hide. It's like wetlands, there's birds everywhere. So some people wouldn't be happy to see this uh, crocodile warning sign there. And out there is just birds galore. shelter under here. If you're a bird lover you can spend hours here. Yeah, beautiful isn't it? Now I can see the dust of another car coming from uh, about the last five minutes. That's what the roads are like out here. Dusty. Driving into Wyndham, you'll see this information bay with a Afghan camel silhouette. And as it says, it's an information bay, so yeah, you got uh, welcome to Balangara country. And then a bit of a map of uh, town and a few other things to do. Things to do in Wyndham. So, just some fun facts about Wyndham. It's got the third largest tidal movement in the world and the hottest average temperature in Australia. It's Western Australia's most northerly town. Okay, let's go. I'm at the Bastion or Five Rivers Lookout. It's um, pretty amazing, like great views, a lot of pictures, drone footage, video, but you really can't get an idea on how awesome how big it is it's just yeah another one of those things you just got to go there it's actually quite good facilities up here there's uh, parking there overflow parking further back great views got picnic tables barbecue here and the trip barbecue is cover and there's actually a toilet over there as well all in all great place to come so if you're in Kununurra or if you're going to Wyndham, just make sure you get up here. Definitely worth it. Here comes a bit of a road train. It's only got three trailers. The last one that went past me had four. And if you look in the distance up on that hill, that's where I was a little while ago taking photos and videos and flying the drone. Way up there. This is a salt plain near Wyndham. I can say you can camp out there, but yeah, I wouldn't be too keen on it myself. I'll oh, dry weather only. I guess uh, in the wet it's flooded. Um, you can see across here that rather than take this uh, bumpy gravel road, a lot of people are just taking a shortcut straight across the Salt Lake here. And the same with a few other spots. Different sort of landscape here, isn't it? I would imagine in the wet this would be completely flooded. And you can see by the track here on the side that it uh, can get quite boggy. It almost feels like I'm in the African savanna here. It's just like floodplains and flat. As the sun's going down, it's going to be, you know, different colours there. It feels like you could be in a different country here. But 
yeah, the thought of camping on a salt plain doesn't sort of agree with me too much. Sun's getting low, I better find somewhere to camp pretty soon. Spaghetti bolognese for dinner with maybe a few extra herbs. I hope not. <laughs> Figured out where they're coming in. I think it's time to close the window. It's just bugs, bugs, and bugs. I've got so many mosquito bites last night. Yeah, this is a rock art site not far from Wyndham. I'm not big on doing tours but if you did a guided tour you get a real insight into the rock art and what it means. Definitely worth a, a look. What I found interesting is um, some of the pictures you can see actually better through the camera than you can see with the naked eye. But there's some really cool artwork here. Further down is a birthing cave. So it's a sacred cave and I didn't go in there just as a sign of respect. Men are not welcome in the birthing cave so yeah just keep that in mind if you're here. But there's um, a bit of rock art down there as well. Definitely very interesting and it's um, if you've got a guide that can explain it and tell you the stories about it and what the um, artwork means, that's all a bit of a bonus. Yeah, I was lucky enough that there was a guy here and uh, he was okay with me sort of having a little bit of a listen in. See so only had two ladies on the tour. But just to, to come and see the site itself with these huge walls and the um, different colours, that in itself is worth coming to have a look. It's a um, bit of a drop down there to the water. And some of the uh, red ochre in here is, it's hard to tell if it's a... Um, you know, artwork or just the natural colour. Sneak around this tree here. Be careful of the edge when you're walking around here. And coming up to some more artwork. See a um, dingo footprint in there. This is the uh, birthing cave, so I'm not going in there, but you can um, see some artwork up above, up above there. Cars down there. So, time to move. This is a prison tree used from the 1890s to the 1920s to house prisoners while on their way to Wyndham for trial. So, how do you think you'd like uh, staying in there the night? There's a bit of light coming in from above. That's how they used to do it. It's a massive boab tree. Not my idea of a good prison, but what they used to use.
I am ready to move on. Heading towards the Gib River Road, finally. Hey. Okay.